The Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal, Chapter C, page 50. Costs of materials, labor, and overhead. See also contractors overhead. Contract rent. The actual rental income specified in a lease. Contract room rate. In the lodging industry, a discounted room rate available to specific high volume users such as airlines, convention groups, and bus tours. A contract room rate is negotiated by the user and the hotel and often applies to a block of rooms that are reserved on an ongoing basis and paid for whether the rooms are used or not. Contract sale. See contract for deed. Contractual entitlement. In water rights, an entitlement created by means of a contract between the appropriative water right holder and another entity that takes delivery of the water diverted by means of the water right. For example, a farmer may have a contract for water delivery from an irrigation district. While the irrigation district has the right to extract the water from a river. Contractual entitlement. Here is the picture for it. It shows the river running over here to the left. It shows water right point of diversion that's coming off of the river. It shows the project canal. It shows the district turnouts. Over here to the right, you see district B on the top that's getting access to that. Down here, you see district C getting access to that. You have district canals right there. And farmer one, farmer two, farmer three, and farmer four are all getting some of that. District A, project has water right. Districts have contractual entitlements with project. Farmers have contractual entitlements with district. Contribution. Number one. The amount a component of a property adds to the total value of the property. Contribution may or may not be equivalent to the cost to add the component. Number two, the concept that the value of a particular component is measured in terms of the amount it adds to the value of the whole property or as the amount that its absence would detract from the value of the whole. Contributory value. Number one, 
the type of value that reflects the amount of property or component of a property contributes to the value of another asset or to the property as a whole. Number two, the change in the value of a property as a whole, whether positive or negative, resulting from the addition or deletion of a property component, also called deprival value in some countries. Control, the power to direct the management, dominant, dominate the decision-making process, and set the policies of a business enterprise. Page 51. Controlled Access Highway. A highway specifically designed for through traffic. Owners or occupants of abutting land may have no easement rights over, from, or to the highway or only controlled easements, easement right of access, light, air, or view. Control premium. An amount expressed as either a dollar amount or a percentage by which the value of a controlling interest exceeds the value of a non-controlling interest in a business enterprise. Convenience Center Among the smallest of centers, with tenants that provide a narrow mix of goods and personal services to a very limited trade area, it may be anchorless or anchored by a small convenience store, such as a mini mart. This type of center may be configured in a straight line or have an L shape and has on-site parking, usually located in front of the stores. The size is usually 30,000 square feet or less in the United States or 40,000 square feet in Canada. The trade area usually comprises about one mile, ICSC. Convenience goods. Number one, commodities purchased frequently and without extensive comparison of style, price, or quality. Because the consumer purchases these low order goods often, the quality of products and their prices are well known. Number two, goods from drug, grocery, liquor, and hardware stores, services from beauty, barber, and bake shops, and services from laundry and dry cleaning establishments, ICSC. Convenience store. A retail business with primary emphasis placed on providing the public a convenient location to quickly purchase from a wide array of consumable products, predominantly food or food and gasoline and services convenience stores typically have the following off-street parking or convenient pedestrian access extended hours of operation with many open 24 hours seven days a week product mix that includes grocery type items and also includes items from the following groups beverages snacks including 
confections and tobacco. According to the Association for Convenience and Fuel Retailing, convenience stores have six identifiable formats. Kiosk, less than 800 square feet. Mini convenience store, 800 to 1200 square feet. Limited selection convenience store, 1500 to 2200 square feet. Traditional convenience store, 2400 to 2500 square feet. Expanded convenience store, 2800 to 3600 square feet. Hyper convenience store, 4,000 to 5,000 square feet. See also convenience goods. Conventional loan. A mortgage that is neither insured nor guaranteed by an agency of the federal government, although it may be privately insured. Convention center. A large scale meeting hall designed to host national and regional association meetings, designed to accommodate a large number of trade booth exhibitors, thus necessitating high electrical capacity and an extensive network of electrical outlets. The facility must be located in a large city with a large passenger airport and enough lodging rooms to accommodate a large number of out-of-town guests. Convention Hotel Hotels designed to accommodate large groups and functions. They provide facilities such as one or more large ballrooms with breakout areas for meetings and 